The bridge is, is not just a church, it's a, it's a fellowship of people who are learning their journey with Christ. Beautiful meal every time. I've never, never had not had a good meal here. Sometimes you just never know when you need a hug or when you need to give one, that it can make a difference in somebody's life. And that's the community environment that is. It's just welcoming, loving, caring, sharing. <clears throat> My name's Kevin, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, 59 years old, got three kids, five grandkids. I've been through a lot in the last few years. I went to prison, had a heart attack while in jail. Um, a year ago in August, God blessed me with another chance of life. Never was a church going person, but since I've been coming here, I really enjoy church. This is probably the best church I've ever been to. And I invite everybody I meet to come here. This has even happened on the bus stop. I there with a girl crying. I introduced you to her. She was crying. She had a bad day. I said, well, you need to come to church with us. And she did. I just can't believe y'all support us the way you do. What has amazed me during this experience is, is what it actually means to me. The first night I went down there, I had no thoughts. You know, it was just something that I was going to do that Thursday night just to check it out. Uh, but it touched my heart. It has meant so much to me to see people who have problems like we all do. None of us have a perfect life, but they're there every week, and I want to be there with them, for them, but also for me. Um, I feel like they're a part of my life now, and they're part of my family. I'm Rebecca, child of God. I'm also a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. I've been sober for almost five years now. I've been coming to the bridge about that long. Man, I can't even describe how God plays a role in my life. Every single morning when my eyes open and I draw a sober breath, I know it wasn't by my hand. I know that it was something greater than me that did that, and I know that was God now. God has restored uh, relationships that the court systems and people in the world told me I would never get back. Be still and know that I am God, plays in my mind. Every time somebody tells me I can't do something, God tells me I can. So how come you always got a smile on your face? Or where does that, that peace that you have come from? And I, so they see that I'm always happy and I'm always trying to do the right thing. So it kind of makes them want to see where it comes from. I say, you want to know where my, my peace and my smile and my joy comes from? Why don't you meet me down at 25th and Market and I'll show you. A lot of the people that I've invited have stayed. They've become members of the Bridge community. Um, early on, they're curious about God. And a lot of people are ashamed to, you know, my mom, they're afraid to say my mom and dad didn't take me to church or, or I don't know much about the God subject. Um, so when they come down here, they talk about, how they can ask you guys questions about the Bible or God, or if they're struggling with something, they pull up on the fellowship of the church and y'all kind of guide them in a godly way. And it helps them to see God's role in their lives as well. And they talk about how the food is always great and how people are always so nice and how everybody's so welcoming and non-judgmental. It makes people really take a look at people really do care for the right reasons because a lot of people are in early sobriety or addiction they've not had nobody like that and for somebody to walk up and hand them a hug or say I'm glad to see you or you weren't here last week lets them know that you mean something to them and that means a lot to these people they talk about it all the time I hope for the future is to live a long life uh, stay in with God They clean us over. That and going to church is my main goals right now. Come to church, they and clean us over. I got a year and a half sobriety in. I've been coming here for a year and a half. I do my best not to miss. I just love y'all. I, I hope to one day um, lead as many people as possible to God um, with my story and just uh, carry the message and the light. 
and I hope the bridge blows up because it needs to be in every community.